All right, welcome to the SAM project uh, 5A. Uh, this is for CAPL 1023. Uh, this is the, again, this is the SAM project one for module five. It's called the Elliott Reed Pharmaceuticals. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We've got this file open. We're going to do a quick save as. And we're just going to, whoopsie, we're just going to save it, uh, change that number one after your name to a number two. All right, and then we are ready to go. All right, so the first step says, um, and make sure you've downloaded those support files. So you're gonna need the three support files, the list, quotation, and table. And while we're here, why don't we go ahead and open those because I think most of them, we're going to have to either copy or create a quick part. So let's go ahead and go File, Open, and I've got them downloaded, so it's going to be this 5A list, 5A quotation, and 5A table. I'm just going to click on the list, hold my Shift key down, click on Table, and then Open, and then you'll see it's going to open all three of those right here. So here's the table, here's the list, and here's that quotation. All right, so we've got all of those open in the background. Just gonna make it quicker for us when we actually start doing work. All right, so it says the first step is change the left and right margins to 0.8 to remove this extra white space. So you can see we've got this extra white space around here, so we're just gonna keep our insertion point right where it is, right up, in, right up here. I'm gonna go to our Layout tab, Margins, custom and then we're going to change our left to 0.8 and our right to 0.8 and then OK and you see it takes that white space right out. Alright that's step one. Step two says on page one delete the content control displaying today's date. So here's that date content control. I'm just going to select this one hit backspace key to take it out step and that's again so it's once we've got we hit that backspace key it takes that content control right out so it's if you have a little box here make sure you click it one more time that's like a box that kind of looks like whoa right see just like I did right there so all right All right, there, okay. I hit backspace and then delete and it took it out. All right, and then it says, step three says type Elliot Reed in the company name content control. So company name, we're just gonna click in there and Elliot Reed is E-L-L-I-O-T-T-R-E-I-D. Um, a couple people that did this project after class uh, one afternoon, um, spelled Elliot or Reed incorrectly and it ended up costing them three points like from different steps around here so just make sure you spell this name correctly otherwise it's going to be the difference of an A to maybe a C or a D and again it's all, everything else could be done perfectly just one little misspelling and it blows your whole grade so again it's going to be E L L I O T T R E I D so Elliot Reed is the company name, right? And then we don't have to do anything with your name. We're just going to keep it literally. We're going to keep it your name. Um, if we change anything, you'll lose a point for it. So if you add your name, you'll lose a point. Step four says apply the basic elegant style set. So that's going to be in our design tab. And then here's our style sets right here. If you hover over those, basic elegant is going to be the second or third one yeah it's the second one so hover over it you'll get the screen tip basic elegant we're just going to click on that all right and then it says create custom theme colors and fonts to apply to this report and other Elliot Reed reports so we're going to create step 5a says create a custom theme color so we're going to go up to our colors custom colors and then again it this one says 
it's going to use teal accent 6 as our accent 3 color. So we're going to go to accent 3, click the down pointing arrow, then change that to teal accent 6. And then our hyperlink color, we're going to use green accent 4 as our hyperlink. So green accent 4, that's our hyperlink, and we're going to call it again Elliot Reed, but spell it correctly. Otherwise, you lose the points for it. So E L L I O T T R E I D. Save that. Alright, and then we're going to change our font, custom font. So fonts, customize. And then this wants us to do. Uh, Report. So it's going to use Calibri as our heading font. So our heading font is going to be Calibri. And I'm just going to start typing Calibri. And then the body font is going to be Calibri Light. So again, start typing Calibri. And then it will take us right to the alphabetically. And then this custom font will be named Reports. The capital R reports and save it all right and then as you go you can periodically click on your little quick save option to save your progress and it says on page two so we're going to go to page two it says create a new paragraph style for the introduction text so anywhere you're going to click anywhere in this why do consumers choose click anywhere in that paragraph and then it says, we're going to call this this style intro, but we're going to go, whoopsie, we're going to go to our style group, whoopsie, sorry, right here, and then create a style. This thing I can close, that thing I can close, right, there's some more option by your styles, create a style. We're going to call this style intro. And then modify. All right, and then it says change the spacing before paragraphs. So we're going to come down here to our format option, paragraph, and the spacing before. We're changing that to 12 points. So just click that little up arrow two times, and then OK. And then our font size will be 14 point and we're just going to keep it as that Calibri light and then OK and then it changes that just the spacing for that first paragraph and then you'll notice it says the style applied is that intro which is exactly what we want All right, the next step says on page 2 insert a hyperlink where it says insert email address so we're just going to come down to that insert email address and highlight that text including the little brackets around it and we're going to type in info at er dot cengage dot com and then space and then hit the delete key to, to eliminate the space after that you don't want to hit the space and then the backspace because you'll take out your hyperlink all right, so we've got the hyperlink in there. It's inserted as hyperlink text. The next step says to change. So make sure it says info at hyperlink. So we're going to right click, edit our hyperlink. So make sure that it says mail to info at er.sengage.com. The text to display is info at er.sengage.com. And then we're going to add the screen tip that says Elliot Reed email address. Again, make sure you're spelling it correctly. No period at the end of it. Elliot, read email address. OK. OK. And then just hover over this to make sure it says Elliot, read email address right on that screen tip. All right, so let's go ahead and save our progress as we go. Step number eight, we're almost done with this, it says move row four in the top reasons. So if you look at this, affordability, novelty, brand recognition are all reasons. This factor in 
submit, view my report, and 100%, so 10 out of 10, and you can see there's no red over here, so we know that we completed all the tasks correctly. And if you take a look, every one of the tasks on this assignment is actually worth points. There's a lot of a, a lot of the assignments that we do in SAM that aren't worth any points. You know, you'll see them some red up here at the top, but it'll say zero of zero zero of zero zero of zero. You'll notice that all of these tasks are actually worth about just about ten percent of your grade. All right, so you just want to make sure you get all of those ones completed correctly. All right, and that's it. That one's should be good to go, 10 points.